You know, I'm not even gonna disclaimer this. I'm not ashamed. Not ashamed. Why should I be ashamed? Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And I bought some books. You know what? I'm not gonna disclaimer this. You know why? Because the world right now is a B-I-T-C-H and shit's going down and things are happening and I don't, I don't feel like disclaimering this. I bought books. It's what I do. There's a lot of books here. There's an unboxing we need to get to. I've been saving these until they all came and I really want to unbox them so that I can put them on my TBR shelf. And besides, I, I've had a really bad reading month, so we're clear. Like, this past month has been kind of shitty in the reading area scenario. I mean, it hasn't been kind of shitty. I've just been kind of slumpy, and then I picked up a book that kind of made me wish I didn't pick it up, so. So some of these I had already unboxed, and some of them I haven't. The first one I want to show, though, is really, really special to me because I can't, I don't know how to receive presents because I get like emotional about it but somebody sent me this off of my Amazon wish list which is always linked down below but please don't feel like you have to get me anything this is just for people that do for some reason I don't, I don't know why because you like me want to get me something but you don't have to I I'm not expecting it but somebody did get me something and this came at a time where my wages were cut again we're not gonna get into that and it really lifted my spirit, so thank you so much, Christina. She got me Penguin Classics, the Penguin Book of Japanese Short Stories. And I don't know if you guys know, but I've been learning Japanese for over a year now. And I am so interested in other cultures and other ways of life. And I feel like Asia in general is having like a really good year on booktube. Like we have the Asia Thon, I think that's what it's called. And I feel like a lot of Asian authors are getting some real good representation out there and I'm so excited to read this book. This book basically has a bunch of short stories but I like how they separated them because it's got an introduction by Murakami Haruki and note on Japanese name, order, and pronunciation in case you're not aware of how that would affect the reading experience. And then we have Japan and the West, and we have loyal warriors, men and women, nature and memory, modern life and other nonsense, and then dread, then disasters, natural and, man and man-made. I can't, this, wow, this book means so much to me, and the fact that somebody gave, gifted it to me was really, really, really special, so thank you so much, Christina. I will cherish this. I have the little, I don't, I don't want to show your name in case, you know, you, you don't want to, but... I have the little card here that I'm gonna stick inside so that every time I open it, I remember your kindness. So thank you so much. And the rest I bought myself because I have, I don't, you know what? I hate this whole I don't have self control thing because actually I do have self control. The thing is, I, uh, this is where I choose to spend my money. Like, why am I disclaimering? I said I wasn't going to. The next book I got is The Five The Untold Lives of the Women Killed by Jack the Ripper. And this is a non-fiction book about the lives of the women that were killed by Jack the Ripper because there's a great like injustice in history with serial killers which is that we always hear the side of the story of the serial killer but we never hear about their victims and seeing as his victims were mostly prostitutes and things we just never hear anything about them so this tells us the story about the women killed by Jack the Ripper and I'm so excited to get into this, although this is definitely not a summer book. We'll talk about summer books and the things that I consider summer books later, but I'm really excited about this, and, and I think that these are stories that should be told. Next up, I got Sappho, Done With Love, Poems and Fragments, which is just Poems and Fragments, written by Sappho, who is a Greek, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm wrong, it's, she's Roman, but I'm pretty sure she's Greek, poet, a woman, poet who i don't know if you've heard of the term sapphic but basically she was i believe a lesbian i'm sorry correct me if i'm wrong in the comments i did study sappho in the university but as i went to study arts but not literature then i don't know a lot about her i know a lot about her representations within works of art but not enough about her but i saw emma from emmy reads was reading a book about her poetry and I decided to give it a shot so I bought this Penguin Classic Sappho Sung with Love Poems and Fragments 
book. Oh my god. The next two books, the next two books were the only books I was supposed to buy this month, but fit, you know, shit happened. And the first one I have here is Erebus, The Story of a Ship by Michael Palin. Now this is another nonfiction. I know, eh, Monica reads nonfiction, she's so boring, but I love it. And this is the story of a ship that was lost for 160 years. And then suddenly she turns up. And what happened? Where was the ship all this time? Well, this book tells you the story. And I'm so excited to hear what was uncovered, what, you know, what happened to this ship and how do we lose a ship for 160 years? Like, how does that even happen? Well, I will tell you once I read this. And the next book that I got goes into my, this is going to be really weird and disturbing sci-fi that makes no sense, but I love it. And that is Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Now, if you don't know Jeff Vandermeer, he wrote Annihilation and its subsequent uh, sequels. I think there's three books. I don't remember the names. But basically, he writes some weird shit. And this is no exception. This is the story, basically. The world has been ruined by nuclear warfare. And there's this woman who lives in the outskirts of the city. And there, or somewhere, she finds this, like, mass, which is this, like creature pictured here and it's called born and basically he begins to threaten the balance of power in the city laying bare to rachel how precarious her existence has been and how dependent on subterfuge and secrets in the aftermath nothing may ever be the same and i have a feeling this is just oh yeah the thing talks i don't know how to explain jeff vandermeer's writing but let me tell you this cover i don't think you can see it but let me see Aside from the beautiful color, it's got like this really subtle embossing that goes all through it and then it's got like l like writing down like here like the side. I don't know if you can see that. I oh, there you go. Look at how gorgeous that is. So creepy, sci-fi, weird ass shit. I'm into it. The next book I bought was totally bought on a whim and Honestly, the reviews are kind of odd about this one, but it caught my attention enough to buy it. Also, the price tag was really nice. And it's The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. Okay, I think I spoiled myself a little bit because I took the dust jacket off, but I'm gonna tell you, apparently this is the story of a girl who goes to a school in Argentina named, I'm sorry, I keep looking because it's right here, the Vaccaro School. And basically, she thinks this school is haunted. But when I took off the dust jacket, are you ready? I hope you enjoyed that Beyonce. It's got binary scribbled all over and the spine of this book is, I don't know, I love it. And it's apparently a psychological thriller more than a haunting story. I have a feeling that it's gonna ha end up something to do with computers because of all that embossing on this book. But I don't know, I don't know. I was gonna return this one, but then I thought like, we don't read enough books set in South America. And I was born in South America, so I just, I kind of feel like I wanna give this book a chance. And it might be really really good so i I'm, i know i'm not gonna get to this soon because the weather is getting hot and i don't really like reading ghost stories when it's hot you know apparently what i like reading is the iliad so so that concludes the already unboxed books and i'm really excited to get into these boxes and we have more from this edition I'm so excited so let's get right into it oi oi don't don't so we're gonna do this i'm gonna Try to do it in frame. Ah! Okay. Oh, ooh, yes, girl. <gasps> yes, it's the cover I wanted. So the first thing I'm gonna take out of here is Dune by Frank Herbert. Now, you, I think you can see, yeah, down here I have Dune, but I have it in Spanish, and I wanted the English edition. This book is a chunky, chunky girl. But I fell in love with these covers. I plan on getting Dune, Dune Messiah, and the Children of Dune, because that's where it all ends for me. Like I'm not, I'm not getting the other books in the in the series because I'm not reading them. But I did read Dune Messiah, 
last month so yeah i'm gonna get that one when it comes back in stock i don't know i just i love oh, it's so pretty look it's got like a little paw there focus so you see it's got a little paw there like in the, oh in the desert and i don't know if you can see it's kind of shiny it's really shiny i've talked about this book ad nauseum so i'm not going to tell you what it's about it's a science fiction classic read it it's amazing read the audiobook from audible it's even better and in this box i also got this wonderful graphic novel called through the woods stories by emily carroll she is also the illustrator and i heard my darling darling friend aurora talk about this and i was like i gotta get on that because i love some scary shit and they say that this is really scary but i'm oh, the art style i love this art style look at that so i don't want to spoil anything so i'm just gonna put it down i have no idea what that is about i'm guessing about going through the woods I know, I deserve some kind of award for that really engaging storytelling that I just told you. <laughs> Let's get to the next one! Okay, there's two books in here. Okay, this is one where I wasn't sure if I want to return it. And then we've got Children of Dune by Frank Herbert. This is the third and for me, final book in the Dune trilogy and i haven't read this one but i plan to read it really soon because dune i was so surprised i like dune messiah and everybody says that after this book it just goes downhill so but look at these cover come on uh, let me show them together and i'm so glad i got the edition where they're all the same size look at look at it oh my god it's so pretty i can't i love these things I, I'm just gonna warn you, I'm gonna order two more Dune books, like special editions. Now going to the book that I'm not sure if I'm gonna return. And it's Sharp Objects by Jill Gillian Flynn. Gillian? Gillian? I'm not sure. I loved this book when I read it. I really did. But the reality is this book puts me in a really, really bad place mentally. And I'm not sure I want to reread it. The thing is, this was only three euros, I think. Three or four euros. So... Oof, do I keep it or do I return it? I'm gonna, I'll, if you see this in an on haul, it's not that I'm on hauling it, it's that I'm returning it. I've already read this. I really, really, really love this book. I think this is my favorite book of hers. I haven't read Gone Girl because I saw the movie and I don't think anything can top the movie. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with this one. But this is just giving, this is giving my life meaning right now. Next. Oh, I hate these ones. There you go. Oh, okay. This is another one where I might return because I found the audiobook, so I might just go with that. But that's Call Down the Hall by Maggie Steve Otter. I unhauled my Raven Cycle books because I can't stand the ending of those books. And I was thinking of like, oh, I'll just keep them and I'll keep this one. But every time I look at the Raven King, I want to like throw it across the room to watch it like fall. So I don't think that that's a healthy mentality to have. But this is about Ronan. And I love Ronan. He's my favorite character. Him and Noah. So this might be good. Uh, we'll see. Um, we'll see. If I listen to the audiobook, I'm not going to read the book and then return it. But if I listen to the audiobook and like it, I'll keep it. But if I listen to the audiobook and I'm not into it, then I'll return it. I'm not even going to open it. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to put it off to the side because, again, I'm not sure if I want to keep this book. You know, sometimes things happen. Sometimes you buy a dress and you're like, I don't want to wear that anymore. So why keep things that you're not sure if you want? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, okay. There's three books in here. Heartstopper, Volume 1 by Alice Osman. This is so cute. I love it because I read this in my Kindle and it was so tiny. And they went on sale and I just... I really like the story and it was cute. So I got Heartstopper Volume 1. Okay, Heartstopper Volume 2, which I'm not gonna flip through because I, I don't wanna spoil myself. And Heartstopper Volume 3. And if you don't know, oh, they look so pretty together. And if you don't know what this is about, this is a fluffy, sweet series about two boys falling in love, finding their sexuality, 
that kind of stuff and this is usually not my spiel like this is not something that I normally think I would enjoy but I did enjoy it and I, I just realized I'm showing you an incorrect order but I did enjoy it and you know what it was a sweet representation and sometimes you've got anxiety and you just want to read something fluffy and cute and this is that for me this along with red white and royal blue and finally I'm gonna unbox the RBA books of the month which I think I need can I do it like this oh, I can do it like this okay yeah. I was actually thinking of unsubscribing to this this thing but honestly I really like the additions and I I don't know I like it in general so I was like I am gonna keep it because I enjoy the books and honestly every single video somebody's like what are those flower books behind you and I'm like they're from the RBA collection and that's the thing this is like a collection this is a proper I'm sorry this is taking forever this is a proper like collector's thing like oh yes and this brings something extra okay so before we get to the extra things I they come wrapped in plastic I hate that let me take the plastic off so we, that we can actually appreciate the book. So the first one we got is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Again, beautiful gold foil. The spine is gorgeous. It goes beautifully with the other spines. So I'm going to have to start making room there. This is, and again, the insides are illustrated. So that's the one we have here and then the next one we have oh uh, okay and the next one oh, i love this color scheme the next one we've got is madame Bovary by gustave flaubert and oh this book look at that color scheme isn't that gorgeous wow i think this is the first book we have in these color schemes i mean they're all a little bit like the same like if you see this one and little women like they have kind of the same idea, but just a little, just enough difference to make them different. I've got these two. I love this one, this, this color scheme. Look at those bumblebees, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now I'm gonna show you the extra thing this, this month's subscription brought me, which I usually, look, I'm not gonna get any subscription box that brings like mugs and things. I'm not like that. I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to my life, so I just don't enjoy those kinds of things. I'm really happy for you if you do, but that's just not for me. But this month, the subscription came with some art prints. And I, I don't know if you've seen, I think in my vlogs you've seen in my house, I have really like beautiful art prints all over my house. And in fact, some of them were actually painted by my friends, so they're very special. And I want to put these up. Look at this look at this oh my gosh you can't see the gold foiling i'm so sad i don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's gold foiled so we have two art prints we have this one <gasps> look at that oh man it's got the one with the bumblebees on it isn't that something? Isn't that something special? I, I really... Oh, is there... <gasps> and it's got the one... It's got the peacock. Look at that. Oh, you can see the gold foiling on that. So, is that it? Yeah, there's three of them. I knew that I was going to get... I didn't... I didn't know which ones I was going to get, so... But I think... I think this one's my favorite. I don't know. There's just something so beautiful and whimsical about it so this these are definitely going up around my house i'm gonna call this a success and without anything left to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for everyone that subscribed recently it really warms my heart to see that people enjoy my videos because i love making them and i hope that that comes through when i do make them so thank you so much for watching just a friendly reminder that i post every monday wednesdays and fridays without fail and then sometimes i'll pepper in videos throughout the week and the weekend if i'm feeling a little bit extra and well i'll see you guys later in a galaxy far far away take care bye bye and yes i do leave in me turning off the camera because it just reminds me of old booktube days you know when people had to turn off their cameras i could cut it out but i choose not to <laughs> you're welcome for that rant bye bye